we're given the following equation reaction and it says that the reaction is first order now from everything I've read I'm pretty sure first order is really important it also tells me it has a measured rate constant well, we've talked about rate constant so I'm pretty sure that's important and then all of a sudden it talks about an initial concentration and it tells me how much it is and then it wants to know what is the concentration after a certain number of minutes so based on everything that I've underlined I know that I'm going to need to figure out something from a first order equation so what is the equation for first order well it is the natural log of a concentration at time t equals minus the rate constant times the time plus the natural log of the initial concentration so which of those things do we know well we're looking for the concentration after a time so that means we're looking for the left hand side so I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite it I've got a minus now k well we said the rate constant is so that's gonna be 3.36 times 10 to the minus fifth now it's inverse second so I'm gonna go ahead and just write it over s now it says I need to multiply it by the time well the only time it gave me is in minutes and I'm gonna need it in seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have my minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do the conversion right here so I know that that there are 60 seconds in one minute and then I need to add to that the natural log of the initial concentration well there's the initial concentration we talked about that that 0 0.0445 so times 0.0445 molar now what cancels remember that's what's really important so my seconds cancel and my minutes cancel so the thing I've got left is the concentration over there on the right the big M so now I need to actually do this calculation so I did it in steps the left hand side we're not doing anything with it yet so I've got the natural log of the concentration at time t and that's going to equal to minus 0 0.47376 plus the natural log of 0 0.0445 molar okay so far so good so now I need to take the natural log of this side and add to it this negative number and when I do that I still have the left hand side is the same well it really hates me right now and I get minus three point five eight six zero oh, two six zero oh, nine so now what am I going to do with that well we need to find out just the concentration at time t so the opposite of the natural log is e so I'm going to take e to the natural log of the concentration of a at time t and then I'm going to take E of that number so this minus 3.5860269 so when I do that remember the natural log and the E those are going to cancel out and so the only thing I have left with on the left hand side is the concentration at time T now when I put this in my handy dandy little calculator I get 0 0.0277082221 now how many significant figures do I need well if you recall from the initial problem we have 3 4 3 so I want 3 so I come to the 7 I draw my arrow so my final answer is 0 0.02777 molar